for example, if uh, this is the default view of the AWR report, that's the home page where you are at the landing screen of the AWR report. So shows you a lot of information first. It starts with the DB name, with the DB ID, with the instance name, and its startup time, and if it's a rack or not. And at the same time, it also provides. Uh, I mean, if someone asks me, like, what to, what what is the very first thing that you actually checks within the AWR report? So the very first thing that I always check is the elapsed time and the DB time, because using these uh, these two metrics, you you will be able to uh, understand like if the system is busy or not, right? Just give me a second. Just give me a second, guys. OK, I'm sorry, I'm and I'm back. OK, so the very first thing that I actually check uh, in an AWR report is always the DB time and the elapsed times, because that's how you'll be able to get the average number of active sessions. And that should be the very first thing you should also uh, check in an AWR report, right? So it, it basically, you know, um, you have to do a divide between your DB time and the elapsed time. Like for uh, like for uh, for example, uh, <clears throat> in this this particular, okay. Let me divide first. Fifteen dot eighteen divide two four five one dot zero one. Okay, so it says. Sorry, sorry. Mm. And then do a divide between 15. So it says 161 active sessions were there, right? So this is too much actually, right? And if someone asks me like, what is a rule of thumb? Like when exactly we should say, okay, this is high or this is low. So always treat the CPU count as a standard for comparing the average number of active sessions as a rule of thumb. Like in our case, how many CPUs we've got? We've got 32 CPU, right? And the average active session once is 161. That means at any given point of in time during that period of AWR report from 10.00 to 10.15, I mean, within those 15 minutes of AWR report, around 161.46 sessions were there uh, were actively waiting on something, right? And considering like we have got 32 CPUs, so so I mean to say like if AAS or average number of active session is higher than the number of the CPU, then there is a problem. But if this number is way, way too high than the number of your CPUs, then there is a choke point or there's, there's basically a breaking point in database and you're really in a soup and uh, the, you've got a big problem basically and need immediate attention or care. Right, so same is the case uh, with this database from which I've copied this AWR report, right? So this means the workload is very, very high, right? Around 161 sessions were found waiting on something. We are again not sure w w where exactly those sessions were waiting on, but yeah, 2,451 minutes of DB time. When you actually divide it with the elapsed time, 15.18 minutes, then you basically get the average number of active session or AAS, right? And when you do a comparison with number of CPU, then it's actually very, very high uh, than the number of CPUs we have. So there is a definitely a very big problem going on. 
So let's assume we have got a different AWR from a different uh, uh, period of the of the same database, maybe one day before, right? Same day we have got this this average number of active session very less. It was hardly 10 average active sessions. So if you compare it with the CPU, of course, system is doing work, actively doing work because 10 active sessions, 10 uh, compared to 32 CPUs. I mean, a lot of CPUs are still free. That this that's what actually represents, right? But now, even after 15 more minutes, you are seeing this number is though goes little down, uh, gets little down. Now you're not getting 161 as the act active sessions, but now you're getting 50. Still, that there, there is a huge gap from the 32 CPU count. So that is why I mean, always treat CPU underscore count uh, parameter as a as a rule of thumb in order to judge if uh, if uh, the system is slow or if it's really, really slow and uh, uh, what it is. OK, any questions about this? So, <coughs> sir, we can consider means this uh, that uh, if around 900 minutes of DB time is there, it, it is OK that all the CPUs are almost used in 15 minutes. 900 minutes where you saw 900 minutes. No, no, I, I'm suspecting means uh, we have 32 CPUs huh? right. and right. Uh, if uh, around I calculate with 15 minutes, uh, uh, 15 to 45 minutes, 450 uh, minutes of work is there. So uh, if the DB time is 450 minutes, I think that is fine. Absolutely, yes, yes, as I told you, like CPU count uh, is the benchmark. Right, so whenever you have average number of active session that is less than the CPUs, or that is all good, right? But if this number is soaring, right, and continuously soaring and ascending, then of course there is a problem. And if not a problem at this point, but maybe in the future or very soon you'll hit a problem, right? Yes. So that's what I mean. It's it's a really important metric. And few other important things is like always collect multiple AWR reports, not only a single report you collect. Right, and stick to a particular period of time. Right, for example, if you have a problem that was happened for 20 minutes, do not come up with a 24 hour or a 48 hour long AWR report because with that big AWR report, uh, most of your metrics will be will get averaged out. Right, so if you have a problem that was there in the database for a very short period of time, hardly for a few minutes. Do not generate AWR report for eight hours or 24 hours or 48 hours. That doesn't make any sense, right? So then ultimately your figures, your metrics, your your uh, areas will be will be averaged out, right? So and you won't be able to catch the problem. So that is why, for example, you've got a 15 minute problem. Generate a 15 minute AWR report. So but well, let's assume like the AWR retention in your database is 60 minutes, right? And you do not have uh, now what you will do. But again, that is a there you cannot do anything right because if that has happened in the past so you cannot change it you only have one hour snap uh, interval so you've got a one hour long awr report so if your problem was happened only for few fraction of minutes few fraction of seconds maybe then again there is a huge huge chance of your stats will getting averaged out or getting normalized right so stick to a particular time that's really important and for example you have a rack environment so never ever you know I will not say never ever, but yeah, you should basically generate instance wide AWR reports as well. I mean, for example, you've got two node rack, so generate uh, two individual rack reports from both of those two instances, and at the same time generate a rack report using AWR gRPT dot SQL, right? So you've got a rack report and you have to get your instance specific AWR reports as well, and then start your analysis, right? In fact, even if you go and raise any SR with Oracle customer support, they always ask to have to provide them uh, in case of a rack, provide them separate uh, or individual instance wide AWR reports along with the along with the, the rack report. Because if we talk about the rack report, a lot of sections you do not see like segment statistics area, something you won't be able to uh, catch there in the in the rack report. So that is why it's always good to have an individual report from each of the rack instance, right? Also use Ash as much as possible, because nowadays, since the introduction of Ash in Oracle database, so it's it's really really helpful nowadays to to understand the system performance metrics using Ash, right? And 
Uh, for example, like at the moment you've got one hour of AWR retention, make it less, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I know there is a limitation. You cannot go below 10 minutes with an AWR report, right? But make it 10 then at least if your system is really slow and getting frequent slowness issues or performance problems. So do not set it at it, uh, to 60 minute of AWR retention. Make it at least 10, the least minimum so that you've got, uh, uh, you know, uh, you've got a good good picture of the database for that particular moment. Any question? 